Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're talking about the best beginner's guide on anime rangers. Now, I have not seen anybody make a video about a beginner's guide and I think it's fairly needed. So that's why I am going to do that. Some people were confused. Uh, they, they told me, hey, yo, Khan, I don't know what to do, man. I got in the game and I'm confused. So I'm here to help you out and explain everything that you need to know to play the game and have fun. All right, so let's get right into it, man. Let's start off with like the whole menu system over here. So first we got the inventory. Now, once you play some games, you'll receive items such as like iron or grass, and you basically keep those to evolve a unit. Like for example, if you have Goku, you can go up over here, look at Goku and you see Awaken. Once you click Awaken, you'll see that you need those items to uh, evolve them. And once you evolve them, he turns into a new uh, Goku type of situation like Super Saiyan 2 or something you know uh, so that's pretty cool and you can do that uh, you get those by just going over there into play I'll show you what to do later but uh, for now uh, that's what inventory is for uh, next is quest now quest you can do just throughout playing the game uh, all you have to do is click on it once you're completed and it will give you the rewards it's pretty pretty cool next up is summons units you know you click on it and then you teleport it to the summons area there's a whole different system for this so how it goes is basically uh, these two are always going to be common then it's going to be an uncommon and then there's a chance for it to either be a legendary or a rare over here okay so it can be between uh, between rare i think and um and legendary i think but uh, all these i think are the same i could be wrong but i think that's how it works but uh, all you have to know is that it's not a 100% chance that there will be a legendary. For a legendary, it's just a percentage of a chance. So, you know, it could be a legendary on this banner or it could be just a four star. But you never know, really. So you just have to hope that uh, the one you want shows up on the banner that hour. OK, so it's not like guaranteed to be a legendary every time. So make sure you understand that before you spin. OK. Uh, next up is this okay so this is just the stats okay now uh, this is pretty cool and i think it's very unique i have not seen a game really do this like that but how it works is basically you play games uh you get cash and once you get the cash uh, necessary to upgrade you can upgrade your health your money generate or your money max now what i recommend you guys do is make sure you get your money max to like 400 before you start upgrading anything else because it's quite easy to earn money especially if you have like luffy that can just go in there and start punching everybody out the way so what i recommend you is go for like 400 max and then uh try to get some money generate but health is not necessary if they get to your tower you can expect for you to lose because there's no way you can stop them with the amount of health that you get per upgrade so i just don't don't recommend you guys waste your cash on tower health just not worth it okay guys so uh that's just my opinion though but definitely make sure you understand that before you actually play do not upgrade tower health only upgrade money max first and then generate uh that will give you the most outcome in terms of money which is pretty valid okay uh next is teleport teleport just you know teleports you wherever you want to go to the player room afk world or summon uh, the afk world is pretty efficient but i don't recommend you guys do this when you're just starting off i recommend you guys just keep playing get a little bit of strong build then you can go ahead and just afk world and just complete the quests because the quests are pretty long i mean some take you like 180 minutes for example just to get 90 gems but if you just afk overnight you'll easily be able to get all of these um quests done pretty simply which is pretty nice as well uh next up is battle pass battle pass is not releasing yet uh it will release next update which will be pretty fire uh so make sure y'all hype for that uh so there's nothing there yet codes i will show you all the codes at the end of the video so if you guys do want to know all the codes just go ahead and scroll over there to the end of the video and you'll see all the codes uh next up is store now store is actually going to be pretty cheap now most things here as you see 145 gems for only 175 robux usually that would cost you around a thousand which is not bad uh vip xp two times and money two times i would say only money two times is really worth it everything else is pretty much unnecessary uh next up is you can get a legendary for a thousand robux pretty cheap but i mean at the end of the day i don't recommend you guys do it i would just recommend you guys wait for the one you want and then use all the codes and then that will give you around a thousand two hundred gems or something like that that's what i recommend you guys do and that is pretty much the whole thing for everything here uh, settings nothing really crazy uh you know just all of these 
uh don't recommend you guys to change anything but if you do need to remove the music or visual effects you guys can go ahead and do that on the settings next up uh is i'm going to show you guys the play area okay so the play area is pretty chill um you know you have a bunch of people here just uh looking for a team uh when you join in there's start config and leave you click config uh is how you basically pick whatever you want to do uh, I recommend you guys, if you're starting off, click level zero and just keep playing on easy. Uh, I would also recommend you guys do name one, two, uh, and three for you to be able to get a lot of cash. And you can obviously upgrade yourself with that. Uh, but I don't think you can do four because four is pretty hard. Uh, so I recommend you guys wait patiently for you to get some good unit and then uh, upgrade them a little bit and you'll be all right. Uh, then you know just follow the story once you get to level 5 do normal once you get to level 10 do hard and you'll be good to go It's really not that hard and not that complicated of a system to understand in the long run uh, Infinite I don't recommend you guys do infinite unless you have a good team because you only get good stuff on the later waves So uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all it is for the beginner's guide for when you're starting off Pretty sure I explained it pretty pretty thoroughly, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that um, yeah, so how the summon works also is 15 gems for one times 125 gem for 10 times uh, This is just the bad path. This is just how many units you have just to make sure you don't go over because if you 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 can't go over physically So that's why they're telling you when you know, you can't or why not uh, and yeah, I mean pretty much There's no pity system. I don't think but I could be wrong uh, the chances are pretty low, you know, you have a uh, three star or 15%, four stars or 10%, five stars, um, 5%, I think, or they're probably lower than even that. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's right. And yeah, uh, so far, I'm pretty sure there's only three legendaries, which is the ones that you see right here in the store. These three are the only legendaries in the game, but in future updates, you'll see a lot more of them. I also have all the codes, okay? So all of the codes for this game, I'm gonna find all of them and I'm gonna put them on the description down below. So all you have to do is scroll down uh, highlight it, copy, paste it, and just paste all the codes here. Click redeem and you'll get yourself a lot, a lot of gems or uh, crystals, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's, it's very good because you get around 1,200 from all the codes, which is really cool and really effective for getting a legendary for free, which is pretty nice as well. So make sure you pick the legendary that you're going to spin for wisely, because if you're just doing it just to get a legendary, I don't recommend you guys do that. Because uh, there are some that are uh, better than others, I'm pretty sure. So just make sure you pick the right one. Now, uh, I can do a tier list video if y'all want me to. But let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, this game is pretty unique. I like it. I played a couple games. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and let me know if you guys are enjoying it too. And let me know what y'all want to see next. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Peace out.